five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is the Ramble. We go from uh, now until uh, midnight. Yeah, and look who's here. Look Hi. who's here. Hey, there she is. She hasn't been here for uh, a while. Uh, uh, quite a while. I don't know. Is that working? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Working. Let me turn it up. Okay. Turn it up a little Here more. I am. Yeah, there you go. It's Friday. It's, it's Friday. Friday. I'll just keep the camera on you. What the okay. hell? Why not? <laughs> uh, yeah. There uh, we go. Hello. What a life. I was going to say, what a day. What a week. Yeah, what a week. What a day. What a life. What a like. Let me see here. I could do this a little more. Hold on a second. I just need to. You, adjusted. It, just adjusted slightly. So Am I adjusted? Yeah, you're, you're adjusted more than you were. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, well, but you say what a week? Yeah, just emotionally and mentally good. Good. drained, and I'm exhausted. I am so tired. But why are you emotionally drained? Just things happen. I mean, we've got our legal case coming, no, and no, no. my office, it's been very stressful. We, um, we, went, to, we went to see our lawyer. Who talks very slowly? Do you ever notice that and digresses? <laughs> I watch the clock, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> we spent. Then we're going into we, the second hour. We spent nine hundred dollars, and he said five words. <laughs> you know, uh, no, but it was really. Uh, 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 I I really hate this case. Oh, I'm sick. It's six and a half years. You know, six and it, a half it, fucking years. We haven't taken a vacation. Yeah. We haven't left the city. Yeah. I mean, really. And I've had time to get cancer, so, you know. And I have a spot on my lungs, so there. Yeah, yeah just a spot <laughs> on my lungs. So we'll find out what that is. But you can't have cancer because only one person's family is allowed to have cancer, cancer at, at, time. at any time. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just so drained. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm exhausted. Well, what are you drained? Are you drained about the trial coming up? I'm drained about that and, and, and kept thinking about finances and also my office yeah, right we now. Don't, we, don't, we do not, compared to most people, do not have financial problems. We're not, I'm, Alex, uh, uh, he, I'm working a long, I, I, know, I, I mean, I'm exhausted every day. I come home, I, I wake up at five every morning. Yeah. I'm in the office at seven. Uh -huh. I'm out of there at three. And I thank you for that because I, I'm your pimp. <laughs> you're and my I pimp. sit at home, uh, eat my bonbons and hanging out with my hoes. <laughs> And all I want to do is come home, have a glass of wine, smoke a joint, and prop my legs up and go to sleep. And then I start the same thing over the next day. Well, like, welcome to everybody else. <laughs> you know? You happen to be making more money than a lot of other people do. Well, I'm working my fucking ass off yeah, to make they that pay, money. Yeah, but they pay you good money there. They do. And they're, it's, it's the last job I'll ever have in my life, and it's the best job I've ever had. And you've had it for 15 years. It's the longest job I've ever had in you my life. You know, when I met you, you thought you were never going to work again. Well, you I know? had just gotten fired, remember? Yeah. About a year later? Yeah. From the... the Mar uh, architectural firm. Yeah. And um, I got this job through uh, Craigslist. <laughs> really? Yeah. It was, it's great. It's been a great job for her. Yeah. It really has. Yeah, they pay 100% of our health insurance for both of us. Um, I get a bonus. It's, it's, it's great, but it's so much work. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I mean, my job is to make sure that the guys that bring in the money mm -hmm. are comfortable and happy and, and everything is taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having to take care of some stuff. I see. I, that's know, okay. I have to keep... You don't I'm, have to keep It's a one-man show. You, you know? don't have to keep looking at me. It's all right. It's a one-man show. You know, no, it, it uh, you know, and I, I appreciate it. I appreciate I'm just, it. My problem is I'm just exhausted every night when I come home. Yeah. I just want to veg out, and that's what I do, and then I start the same thing over the yeah, next day. Yeah, we'll show you how bad my life is. I'm exhausted by the time you get home. <laughs> you know. And I, I, yesterday I slept till 11.30. Oh, stop it. Oh, God. I didn't get to bed that late either. Oh, stop the it. The doctor has given me new pills, right? 
The happy pills? Yeah, the happy pills. These these are the uh, first. I had the. Uh, you don't have to open it up. The one hundreds, right? Which were this. They, I love how they change colors on things. It's like the synthroid. The, yeah. These these are the. Uh, there. Okay. No one can see them underneath your and, fat fingers. No, I. They're, well, chunk, they're chunky fingers. Well, they're not chunky fingers. They're violin fingers. And then, uh, yeah, the, no, maybe. and now here are the new ones, the 150s. They're white. <laughs> well, like Synthroid. What color is your Synthroid? I don't know. Oh, you don't take it? Mine's, I, mean, I take the same Synthroid mine's you pink. do. I take the same Synthroid you do. But I take the generic, you don't. Mine's pink. My doctor, for some reason, specifically wanted me to take the Synthroid. And there was a reason why. Uh, and really? I, yeah, I can't remember. You probably stock in the company. Probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we go to the lawyer today, and uh, he uh, starts with... I uh, can't hear. What? It's, I, it's not going in my ears. What do you mean it's not going in your ears? I can hear you talking, but I can't hear anything in here. Well, so, one of them fell off, I think. No, they're both in my ears. They're both in your ear. Okay, how's this? Is that better? No. Hold on a second. Is that better? Talk. Can you hear me? I can hear you because you're talking right now. Can you give me your earphones? Here, we got to fix stuff while we're on the air, do we? On the job training. Huh? Gee, you're right. Huh? Could be these earphones have gone bad. Should I use these? Hmm. Should I use no. these? No. No. Could be these earphones have gone bad. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There they. There we go. There we go. Uh, at least I'm. It's going out one side on you. Um, I don't know why, not both sides. See, this is what happens when I visit, yeah, when I pay yeah. a visit. So on one side they work, at least. Anyway. To so well, the Alexa Alexander, to the Alex you, you Bennett really need, Ramble. You don't really need them, for the most part. Well, I want to hear when people call. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds good. Yeah. Anyway, today was very exhausting, emotionally. Yeah. And I thought I lost the paper, and I was just about to cry. Oh, this was a paper. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Alex. <clears throat> mm. Mm. I'm still... Stop I still it. Have you the, don't have to show it to everybody. I still have this... Stop I still it. have this cold, but it's better. It is better. But it's starting to come out. It's breaking up. Yeah, it's breaking up. <clears throat> Stop But anyway... What happened was there was this paper I had to get. He said, "Oh, you gotta get this thing. You gotta get this thing. We really need this thing." Property. It was a, a, a rental thing where they a rental history, a rental history of this apartment. So I had to go down to 125th Street, up. And, and I walked it up, up. to 125th Street and walk it. Okay, which you know it's okay, good walk. Nine blocks. I get there, and then I suddenly realize I forgot to bring the lease with me. <laughs> So I then head back. And I was thinking I'd maybe take a cab, but I couldn't find one. So I walked all the way back, and then all the way back to Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard, Boulevard building, the, his big office building. And I got this thing done pretty fast, actually. And they had to certify it. Boom. So now I hand it to her. And I say, here, you take care of it, because she was taking care of everything. And I said, don't unstaple it, because they told me don't unstaple it. What does she do? I had to scan it in. Well, you could have done that without unstapling it. Well, I didn't know, and I had a lot of stuff to scan in. Well, you didn't really have to scan it in. All he did is he wanted it. Well, he got it. Well, he got it, but now it's got it was unstapled, and so he's going to have to... Maybe. Send us back down. There's one near the courthouse. Near the courthouse, but you're going on that you're one. You're going with no, me. No, you're going. I'm not going. You're, yes, you're going. I've had it. I, I mean, I, I just fuck it. I'm finished. Oh, really? <laughs> we'll go live at 144th Street. Yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> we'll make the living room into a, a bedroom and the bedroom into your studio. Yeah, but everything they need, like, certified. And I'm going. I think he's just covering his ass. I mean, he did really need the yeah. original he me, lease. He did, really need the original. And I bet we'll not see did that Did he again. give me back my license today? Yeah. Did I put it back in my wallet? I didn't see you put it back, but he did give it back to you. Can I go look at my wallet? No. I'll look when I go And then bring the, it in here okay. so I can see okay. it. Okay, I'll do yeah. that. Um, see what I put up with? Give me a break. Well, I, 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 I thought that I maybe... I'm slowly dying ...left here. my wallet in that office. No, no, he handed it to you. And I put it in my... I didn't see that. I was busy putting mine in the wallet. Oh. 
No, anyway. Anyway, it's 10.15. <laughs> so that was my day. That was my week. Me, that me, was my Give year. me two minutes. Just one minute. What? Oh, minute? God. Do you Wait. see what I have to put up with? Go ahead. Tell them what you have to put up with. <laughs> Is anyone going to call tonight and say hello to me? Louise, are you going to call? Who's going to call tonight? Somebody call and say hello to me. I'll stay here on the phone. When he opens it up, I will stay till somebody calls. And then I'm going to sleep. Yeah, we're okay. Okay, we're okay. He has his driver's license. And my wallet. I was and your wallet. Day. I left my wallet there. You know, when you're old like we are, we do things like that. Well, we haven't gotten to the point where we put the milk in the in the cabinet. Like when people tell you not to, un, to not to unstaple something, you unstaple it. He was impressed, though, with all the stuff that he got. Well, let's face it. Here, here's what it was. He, um, I think you just he kept sending him stuff to annoy him. I did. <laughs> I did. Anything that had an address that said 1925 on it, I scanned it. In yeah, he asked for, like, some proof we lived here. So we sent Verizon bills, PG&E bills. Envelopes uh, for... Uh, for offers. Yeah. yeah things like that, yeah. <laughs> You know, and and the funny part is they want to they want to be able to prove that we have lived here. Like duh. You know, well then if we haven't been living here, why is why, why are you trying to throw yeah. us out? <laughs> you know, why is it you've been you've been complaining about those people living in Adai? Of course we've been living here. We're squatters. Oh, and then she has to prove that she hasn't lived anywhere else. Because she does have another apartment. Yeah. But she hasn't lived there. I haven't lived there since... Um, and I said, it doesn't year. matter. I This is the only place I have lived in this time period. And it's the only place I've lived. So, uh, you know, th th just one person has to be living here. Well, yeah. we both live here. I ran out the other place. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just, it, it's just so annoying, all the little things and gripes and... It never ends. You know, and, and we're supposed to be, like, I'm not going to do the show... Um, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> well, Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> mainly because of the court case, uh, which uh, it, 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 it just really bothered me uh, uh, because of the court case. And the first day, I don't, we don't have to get down there that early at, like, 9.30 in the morning because they're gonna be arguing about something, I don't know, as to whether it should be admitted into evidence or not. The slum landlord that owns the building did has done some creepy stuff, not only to- uh, Well, don't talk about yeah, what it was. Yeah, that's true, yeah, we yeah. shouldn't. Not when there's an ongoing Not trial. when there's an ongoing thing. They're very nice people. <laughs> they're very nice people. <laughs> so, <clears throat> anyway, um, I have bone to pick with da Damien. Oh, yeah, so do I. Damien, Apple TV is good. We found some really good stuff on there. There are two very good shows on Apple TV. Yeah. One of which you would like. Which one, the television one? The, the one about For All Mankind. Oh, the space thing. Yeah, space thing. You it's would an, love that show. It's an interesting premise. It's the premise is that the Russians landed on the moon, and now we're trying to catch up. Well, yeah. But, I mean, that's the premise, basically. Well, we do catch up eventually, yeah. but... The thing is that that's a very kind of flimsy one-page premise for a show. And it's a question of how you're going to work it out, how you're going to make it work. Well, it becomes a soap <coughs> opera. They're all soap <coughs> operas. I don't care how you deal with it. They're all soap yeah, operas. Yeah, but it's a very good show. It's okay. It's a very good show. I would say And okay. you like the morning show a lot. Not as much as you, but I like it. Yeah, and the latest episode about excellent rape. It was, it was about well, it was about the Me Too stuff. Yeah, you know. it's very good. Steve Carell is terrific. Jennifer Aniston's terrific. terrific. Reese yes, Witherspoon, she... even Martin Short, uh, who I don't like as a comic, is very good as a straight actor. So you know, uh, I uh, we we've we've been enjoying it, Damien. So what do you mean nobody watches it? A lot of people watch. I watch it. I, I watch like it. it. We look forward to it. it was a, it's the first thing we watch on Friday. Is that a Friday all the thing? Stuff. Yeah, when it comes out on Friday. Well, I watch The Mandalorian during the day when you're not here because I figure you don't want to watch What's The Mandalorian. What's that about? That's the Star Wars thing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Which I, I, I've got to get you into this weekend. I'm not into Star no, Wars. No, no, I no, never no. Was but I want to show you this one episode, okay? okay. I think okay. you'll like it. Okay. I think okay. you will like it, okay? <laughs>
Right. Is it time? It's time. No, no, not even close. Can I roll on over? Not even close. You know something? I haven't missed you being here, but just because you, for the half hour, you go, is it time yet? Is it time yet? Well, I want to talk to everybody else, too. I love talking to you, but open up the show. You don't like talking to me. I'm a burden to you. <laughs> we talk together all the time. And now with this cancer, I'm more of a burden to you. <laughs> the issue is who's going to go first. I'm, I'm handling it pretty well. You're handling it very well. Actually, yeah. since you spoke with the doctor, I think everything's moving well. Well, no, because it, I, I know that something has to be done, you know. And we're taking care of it. That's but all. last night I got this great fear of death in me. I welcome it. Really? I do. I How have do you it. do that? I let it come. <laughs> you know, I have no problem. Well, with it. you know, maybe. Uh, you know, do I, I want to continue more of this waking up and going to work and putting eight and nine hour days in? Well, really? Or being married to me. <laughs> um, I love being married to you. But anyway, uh, no. What I'm saying is, is that. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I have no. Oh, idea. what I was going to say is. That's what happens when you get old. Is that my father? When he was alive, said, "I hope when I go, I get hit by a Mack truck." Then you're the doom. He said, "Boom." Yeah, he says, "I don't want something where I linger." linger. Well, he did linger for like a week. He had well, that's a, not bad. A week. Yeah, but he had a pituitary tumor. But in those days, they couldn't solve. Today, be today, alive. It's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it's not nothing. But, but I mean, today it's it's solvable. It's quite solvable. Yeah. So I don't want to linger either. How's my voice doing tonight? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to linger either. Yeah. No well, life support. Well, but nothing. I think about you know the process of dying. Isn't a lot of fun. Only if it's long and drawn out. I mean, let it happen to me quickly. Really? Yeah. Let it come. Well, suppose so you do have January lung. 2023 so is suppose my... Suppose you do have lung cancer. Let it come. Let it go. No, but then it's... It, are you not going to do anything about no, it? No. Really? Yeah. Why? I'll start smoking again. I found out that if I do nothing about this prostate cancer, you probably better. I'm good for five years anyway. And you feel better. You know... I think if I had lung cancer, I'll start smoking again, just to show them. Oh, if I found out that I had a terminal <laughs> disease tomorrow, I'd try heroin for the first time. Um, I'm basically on heroin. What? The pain pills that I take is Dilata, which is synthetic heroin. Yeah, but it's not heroin. You're not hooked. You got high one time. I have never gotten high, and that was my biggest fear, was that I would become addicted. And the doctor said, you're dependent on it, and that's good, because it's going right to the pain. But Alex one time took a pill, and he was floating around the whole day. I have never, ever, in 11 years that I've been seeing the pain doctor, I've never gotten well, because high. Because it goes direct, and when it you goes, have a pain pill, and it goes to, to the, the pain, pain. It, you don't get high. Never gotten high, yeah. ever. But ever. I was taking it for the sheer enjoyment. I know you were. <laughs> for, for the, uh, you know. For the high. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, was on, I was an opiate addict for one day. Yeah, um, but it's strong stuff, and I'm monitored. I see the pain doctor once a month, and three times a year I get a shot in my back. Well, my my uh, my neuropathy pills kind of made me a little high. They're the happy pills. They're the nice pills. They're the nice I've pills. I've been very nice lately. Yes, you have. I've yes, been very you, nice yes, you lately. have. I've been very nice because I'm on the nice pills. That's right. Yeah. But I think I'll go back on the ugly. What were the ugly pills? Oh, those were the uh, when they... The they gave nasty. me one pill. Remember the one pill they gave me when we went on vacation? I was nasty the whole week. To my friends? Yeah. Well, I mean, I couldn't help it. My friend was doing a charity thing. He was in charge of it. And Alex is sitting on the fucking toilet reading a magazine. <laughs> what do you mean? When we were waiting for you in the car and you were on the toilet upstairs. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I just, uh, I was, uh, I was, uh, I, that drug made me nasty mean. Really did. Yeah. It was horrible. They said, Mills, you can come visit us anytime. Really? Yeah. I, not me anymore. No, you can come if you're not take your nice pills. I take you. my nice pills. <laughs> Mommy my nice pills. I tried my nice pills. It's ten twenty four. I'm what? just giving the time. Uh, so uh, we got some movies here. Let's see here. What are these? Where where was it? New oh, York here, Times. Here it is. These are the best movies of the year. Is that what they is say? That the movies of the television. This is the movies. Okay. Uh, Honeyland. Conceived government-sponsored informational video. This documentary is nothing less than a found epic, a real-life environmental allegory, and not least a stinging comedy about an age-old problem of inconsiderate neighbors. I'll pass on that. Mm. 
Keep going. The Souvenir. Uh, Honor Swinton Byrne plays different uh, version of the director's younger self in an elusive autobiographical film that also functions as a kind of superhero origin story. I'll pass on that. I never heard of that film. Keep going. Now, The Irishman. You know, everybody loves The Irishman. To me, The Irishman was too I, long. It was mediocre. It was mediocre, and it was... It was all the actors playing themselves. It was it was it was a bad copy of Goodfellas, yeah. I think. Was if if somebody other than Martin Scorsese decided to do an impression of a Martin Scorsese, that's film. what it would be. Yeah. And it was over three hours. Over three, three and a half. Three hours. and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Marriage Story, which we haven't mm -hmm. seen yet. What's that about? That, that's the one you want to watch on Netflix. <laughs> a Marriage Story. Oh, the Marriage Story. I thought you said Merit. Marriage Story, Noah Bombach. Yeah, Bum that opened up today on, on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Uh, po both of those films will probably get nominated, and both of those are Netflix films. Pulp, the Two Popes? Yeah, oh, the, Two Popes, uh, that's yet to come out. Is that's that HBO? January. Is that January. HBO? Or? No, that, the, uh, that's a different show. That's the other Pope. I don't show. mean, I mean the new one with the movie, not the television The series. movie is a Netflix thing. Okay. Yeah, but it won't be out until January. Peter Lou, I heard about this film. Mike Lee, mm. *The Edge of Democracy*, kind of where we are now. Harrowing documentary, an inside look at the events leading up to the election. Jair Bolsonaro, uh, Brazil's populist president, is the scariest movie of the year. Jesus, <laughs> you know they haven't done one about Trump yet. Yeah, wait. Uh, *Once Upon a Time in Hollywood*. I liked it. I thought it was okay, but I don't think it was a very good Quentin Tarantino. Film. I agree. I agree. I expect more out of it. Yeah, that. I mean, but it was a good movie. It was okay. Well, I thought it was better than okay, yeah. but not great. Well, we can watch it again. Uh, Atlantics, I don't know what that is. A startlingly, uh, startlingly original debut feature about the specters that haunt Dakar. Hmm? Uh, let's see, anything else that they recommend here? Well, let's see. Scroll here. down. Um, oh, uh, if we go down here, they have some other, what, some other films, I guess? Yeah, that's all the top films are recommended. Well, these are different. These are different. Well, I guess maybe this is somebody else's list. Oh, that could Pain be. Pain and Glory, The Irishman, Parasite, Little Women, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, again, Synonyms, Transit, American Factory. One Child Nation. That sounds like China. And The Last Black Man in San Francisco. That's a movie about me. <laughs> All yeah. right, let's open it up. I'm rolling over. Roll me over oh, in the clothes. Wait a minute, I gotta move, roll me I gotta over, move this over here. And, again. and you can, uh, let's roll see over? here. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can roll over. I'm rolling over. Yeah, here she comes, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to be the first one to call? Well, I don't know. Out? I haven't. I haven't set up the uh, the Skype yet. So look at this hair. Uh, leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Here we go. Here we go. I got to put some things under that. A little, there's yeah. a rumble. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we've opened up the Skype line. So start calling. So you can start calling. Uh, wait a minute. Come on. Active. There we go. All right. I gotta blow my nose. Don't do it near the. <laughs> oh, there's blood's coming Stop out. Stop it! Hmm. We don't want to know that detail, Alex. It's gross. Really? You want to see it? No. Here, see no, it. Sorry. Look at. Look I'm, at. I'm look, going to bed. Look at my. Look I'm at my. Look bed. at my blood. Look no. at the snotty blood. Okay. See that right see there? It. I'm okay. Not looking. It's not up there anymore. You can come back. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, oh boy! Well, let's with? see if anybody decides to uh, decides to call here. Yeah. Maybe nobody will call. Then I'm going to sleep. Maybe nobody wants to talk to you. That's true. Not even Louise. That, it could be. Could be. Let me see here. Boom, 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 boom. Let me get that ready. Oh, here we go. Here comes Jeff Stein. Ah! Yeah. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Jeff Stein. There he uh, is. There he is. Hey, there's, Jeff. There's Jeffrey. Hold on a second. Let me uh, put you in the first uh, place here. Uh, Stein Zeller. 
we can put you in there, and uh, we go over here like that so people can see you. There he is, Jeff Zeller, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, Jeff? Good. Oh, yeah, here, I, here I, comes. Oh, here comes Josh. Mark, I Josh. haven't seen him in a long time. I know. Josh Wheeler. Uh, and I'm going to see you on Sunday. Yeah. If we put in Josh Wheeler, he will probably pop up because he was in the third spot last night. Uh-huh. Oh, no, he was in the... What spot was he in last night? I guess maybe he was in the first spot. Oh, no, there he is. There he there is. There he is. Okay. Um, uh, uh, turn on your camera, Josh. There we go. There we go. There Hi, Josh. Is. Okay. Hello. And that center space... Hello. Is, Hi. Is, yeah, that center space is waiting for uh, um, Phil. <laughs> I thought it was a had... free tonight. No, but if somebody else calls, we'll we give you spot. his space, okay? <laughs> and then when he calls, I can say, well, we'll try to fit you in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which would be kind of nice. Hello. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we can, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Phil, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I think we can fit you in. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, it looks like a crowded field. Hi, Phil. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, Marjorie? Hanging in there. Yeah. It's been a hard couple of weeks, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm sure Alex doesn't make it easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm 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 I've been I've been nice cuz I'm on my good pill. Happy pill. Happy pills. Oh, the gabapentin, or no? It isn't gabapentin. It's uh, it's it's a uh, uh, happy uh, pregabalin, which is Lyrica, Lyrica. Oh, I see. All right. Yeah, I asked my doctor about it. He said, "Well, it's a little better than gabapentin because it has a few more things in it, or something." Yeah. And I went, "Oh, fine, good." Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I I don't think I think my feet are my uh, my my uh, my uh, neuropathy is just as bad, but I don't give a shit now. Yeah, are you still See? going to the chiropractor? No, I am. Uh, I still go. Yeah, I went. I, I go. No, yeah, it I, was it was I sp I spent <laughs> I spent three hundred bucks at the chiropractor, more than that, about three hundred sixty bucks at the chiropractor, and it did nothing. Nothing. I mean, I expected. I wasn't expecting miracles. I was just expecting something you to happen. You didn't get your back like that in 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 a month. It's a whole lifetime. Well, I found out from my yeah. doctor finally after your Archery's right. Your yeah, chiropractor was saying, "Well, yes, I've seen the. I saw the X-ray, and uh, you definitely have something wrong with your spine." And and then I went to my neurologist, and he said, "Well, yeah, but it isn't your spine that's causing this." So there. Whatever. Anyway, that's well, 330. It doesn't hurt to get your back adjusted. You it's get, like getting your car tuned. He didn't or, do that. or your haircut. Yeah. He didn't do that much of an adjustment. I love it. I mean, like, it just <coughs> cracks it. You could. <coughs> you know, if I go to a massage parlor, they'll do the same thing and I get a happy ending. Well, I had, I had a rolfing today. I feel pretty good, but believe me, there's no happy ending. The only thing that's a happy ending when you get rolfed is when the rolfing is over and you get off the table. Well, I, I, I did it years ago, and it was so painful I couldn't continue. I, I, I used to get rolfed, and I liked it. I thought it was terrific. I, I, I have been doing it every hey, day for there. over a year. Yeah. Every every week for over a well, year. Where's wow. Josh? we got to get Raymond. Hold on a second. got to get rid of we got two, uh, two, two Jeffs. Two Josh. We don't need two Jeffs. And you have two Joshes. Uh, oh, we do have two Joshes. Uh, double the Josh, jo double oh, the fun. I see what the problem is. Wait a minute. Wait, that isn't what we wanted. What we wanted was four. We wanted, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. My, I'm, the senior citizen here is messing up. Josh, we learn. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, 3 a.m. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then we, we have two Jeffs. And, and then, two Jeffs. And, and then we got to get, what? Aren't there two Jeffs? There are two Jeffs there. Yeah, but only one there. Well, that's that's how he gets a full house. <laughs> well, let me see here. Let me let me get. Let me hold on a second. I, I should Jeff. be I should be able to get rid of Jeff by doing that. There we go. There we go. Jeff's gone. Bye. Okay. Jeff's still there, but he's somewhere else. <laughs> but there's no two of them. Only in one spot. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, I'm getting ready for my trip in the morning. I probably got to get up and get out at like where five thirty in the morning. He's going. I'm going to Maui. You're going, and maybe oh, you won't wow. trip. He's going to Maui. Yeah. For two days. Three. 
three days of diving and five days total. But, uh, uh, you know, the, the thing is, is, on my iPad, I downloaded a couple of Netflix things. Now, can you watch those if you're not online? If, if you, you download downloaded it. From it Netflix, yeah. Netflix? yeah, if it's downloaded yeah. Okay. in your iPad, you can. Okay. Yeah, because I have to go to de Netflix to push the download thing or that says that's where the movie is. Wait a minute. Uh, hey, um, um, Hammers. Yes. Jason. Jason, what? <laughs> hey, since you're asking technical questions, Phil, can I ask Josh a technical question? <laughs> so the other day, I think I had some ice, uh, ice dam and I had paint on my inside of my kitchen, it looked like the wall melted and the paint was drooping off of the wall. You could push it. It was like sticking out from the wall. It was yeah, bubbling out. Bubbling. Yeah, leak. A, a couple of days later, it was gone. The paint was tight to the wall again. It's not bubbling out. It's not sticking Is out. Water? Anything. And now we go to Mr. Paint. Yes, uh, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that's not really what you do in there, but I just didn't know if maybe you've heard anything. Does it have some type of heat shrink type of ability or something? The sun shined on it and it was dried out and shrunk back tight to the wall? Or I think he can do that sometimes. Yeah, was, was, it, like, was it on drywall? Did like the drywall swell up and then... Yeah. Uh, the drywall, I, I didn't notice the drywall swell, but it was back when we had all of our uh, winter storm and everything. I think we had, probably had an ice dam. Never had water damage there before. But there may have been it just water. Looked like the, and, and there looked may like be the water wall inside. was melting. Yeah. And the paint was coming off the wall, drooping down like a, you know, Logs. like it was melting. Wow. And then a couple of days later, I didn't even notice, you know, I was like, I was going to show my parents. They came over. I'm like, what the hell happened? It's gone. You can't Jason, see it at all. Uh, do doors open and close in the middle of the night? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, it was the craziest thing. That's why I just did. I didn't well, know, why, you know, why, why don't you do this? In instead it. of asking Josh, because obviously he doesn't know what makes the paint work. Okay. Must well, have been PPG paint or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ask uh, your, your device there. No, you, yeah, you but, no, but you could go. You could probably go online and find that problem. You know, uh, it was just crazy, man. It looked like my wall was melted. Did it you go know, down the way to the floor? Just... Did it go I'm off sorry? the wall into the floor? No, it was just about halfway. How down would the you wall. best describe it? Drip marks in my paint. No, it looked like the <laughs> melted wall. <laughs> but, um, drip paint. Well, let's see here. Uh, you know, you sure out? you don't have a leak, like a roof leak I'm going to say goodnight, no. guys. I am so no, tired. Isn't that it's disgusting. good seeing you. I'll be isn't back that disgusting soon. seeing two You're old so... people kiss? You want a tongue kiss? <laughs> 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 she said, uh. Good smooch. Yeah. Is that your reply? Uh. Yeah. That was the rating. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Good night. Huh. Anyway, where were we? It, you, you got uh, one paint, ah paint, out of three. Watching paint dry. Yeah, watching <laughs> paint dry. Drip marks. No. Vanishing. In paint. No, you're just going to no. get wet paint stuff. Yeah, paint use a better detaching brush. detaching from drywall or something. I don't know. But I let you know, Phil, too, the last couple of days I spent redoing my uh, walk-in closet with a – it's rubber made, but it's a wire shelving system. Oh, okay. It's a pain in the ass, but Dry I love out. it now. Yeah, well, let me no, see here. It's nice to have an organized closet. Let me see here. Uh, why is my – oh, why does my paint peel off of the walls? Um, oh. uh, let me see. If any fix and then re-adhere. Use a paper scraper. No, that's not your problem. Paint separating from wall. Is that 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 might sounds a little bit better, <laughs> but then re reattaching. That was the thing that got me. Oh, like yeah, I said, the yeah. it just popped in my head. You know, we had all this ice. We had all this. You know, probably got some water damage. It worked its way back. There are up three spots in the or... picture. The paint is bubbling up on the wall. The layer of paint that is separating seems to be quite thick, though, roughly two millimeters. Does anyone know why this could be happening and how to fix it? Does that sound like your problem? Yeah, it was crazy, but it fixed itself, so I wouldn't know how to fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, did, you so touch, yeah. did you touch the paint at all? I, I touched it just to make sure it was bubbling out, and then after I did that, I even went and got my kid, and I said, don't you do this. 
because <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to push on the paint and crack it. And then, like I said, a couple of days later, just like heat shrink and oh, just tighten right back Colossus up. Oh, Colossus says online, and he may be right, Jason, your LSD wore off. <laughs> right. <laughs> we all must have been having a good trip because everybody saw it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Anyway, um, mm-hmm. so i am still got my cold a little bit, but it's getting better. It sounds better. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better. I still feel, I, I was very, I tell you, it, was, it must have knocked the shit out of me. Because I went to the lawyer today, and it was I was I was really tired. It was really quite a slog for me. <laughs> uh, you know, because I mean, you get sick that many days in a row, and eventually it takes its toll on your uh, on you. So I'm probably just getting over. It might be something similar too, man. I know it kicked my butt. I'm glad I was on vacation this week, but you know, it just it, it was horrible. And I I swear by Mucinex, you know, the one that you have to get from the pharmacy. You, you know, I have Mucinex, swear by and I didn't. It, it I didn't, didn't do nothing. It. Didn't do anything. It didn't help. Yeah, that's supposed to help I, with mucus. Yeah, I it, haven't it, gotten the flu shot yet. Now that I'm over sixty five, I think I'm supposed to get the double uh, str- strength flu senior. shot. Oh. Yeah. Hmm? They call it senior level or something. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I haven't had time to uh, go there and get it. So uh, now that I'm going on this trip, uh, last weekend uh, it was raining and we were supposed to shoot at this outdoor property. And I said, I'm not going in the rain because I'm not getting sick before this trip. And uh, Take I've some been, airborne. Yeah, I've been staying away from everybody. Take airborne before you get on the plane. Well, I don't. What's you know, airborne? Usually, I, I've I, seen something that they wear around their it, neck. It, it basically has zinc in it. It's a. It's like a almost like a effervescent thing, like a um, what was Alka Seltzer. Yeah. yeah. You know, you put it in your cup and then you drink it, and you know, I think it has zinc in it to help. So well, because you, you get on those airplanes, and if one person yeah. is sick in that airplane, everybody it recycles sick the air. Right. Yeah. And and don't let them. Fool you into thinking that if you sit close to the front of the plane and you're closer to first class, that you get better air. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I don't think they have a different air uh, no, circulation. No, no. no. However, but, I've often felt that first class should be in the back of the plane. How is that? Well, because it's uh, safer. W- well, <laughs> no, if the plane is going to crash, be- the plane is going to crash. Right. In most crashes, the people who are in the tail survive over the people who are in the rest of the plane. Uh, it's at the wing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, all the people in first class are going. Wave bye-bye to the guys who are eating the, <laughs> right. the, the, the chocolate sundaes, okay? Yeah. No, nah, I just got main cabin with the extra six inches of, of knee, knee space. Well, uh, you needed that because you were extra... Extra big. Extra yeah. six inches of knee space or belly space? Uh, the, <laughs> you, you get the belly space when you get the knee space. <laughs> Something like that. I won't fat shame Phil. Yeah, <laughs> You got the exit row. Uh, huh? No, nah, I don't like the exit row because the seats don't recline. <coughs> no, the seats don't recline in front of the exit row. The exit no, row the seats recline. don't recline in the exit row either. Huh. Okay. And so, uh, you know, otherwise I would sit in the exit row because you do get more uh, uh, more distance hey, between get... the seats. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gurgling up here. Hold on a second. Oh, balls? Yeah. Ooh, I've got three of them left for the rest of the show. Okay. I'm going to have some more. Uh, 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 Mm, there we go. That's lovely. Sugar free. Ooh. Sugar free. I have to order. I have also. Do you ever do coldies? Yes. No. No. It works. Yeah. Yeah. It does work. You I take, like take coldies the, and airborne. Yeah. If you take mm. coldies at the beginning of a cold, it's zinc. Same thing. Uh, it will. It will minimize the cold you get. And that's yeah. what I took, and that's why this one lasted over seven days. What's amazing to me is when I get a cold, usually it's three days. I get it the day I get the cold, the day it's really bad, and the day it's starting to go away. And by the fourth day, no cold anymore. 
Well, that was, those days are over. This one lasted a week and two days, something like that. So. Yeah, you take a multivitamin and all of that stuff. Do I? Yeah, I take you some know, vitamins. I, I found that since I've been loading up on uh, supplements and uh, everything that you can imagine, yeah. CoQ10 and... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they found you know, out that... Yeah, loading up on Coke, yeah. <laughs> By the way, they said the CoQ10 does nothing. Zero. Still chill. Tastes good. May taste good, but they say it's, it does nothing. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll take my shot. All those supplements, but, you know what they give you? Uh, uh, expensive shit. Very expensive pee. Yes. Very expensive <laughs> pee. Pee, yeah. Because most of the stuff you take doesn't get absorbed into your system. Well, I get probiotic, fish oil, multivitamins. Probiotics uh, are the one thing I will swear by and say are good because I had IBS. Mm -hmm. And I've had less I a great deal less IBS since I took probiotics. Yeah. You know. But, um, you know, between all the stuff that I take, I actually haven't gotten sick as often as I had in the past. American you know, Patriot, I, who knows nothing, because he's another conservative shit, uh, <laughs> says CoQ10 is a must if you're on statins. No. Yeah, it's, uh, that's what they say. Statins are a it's, must if you're on CoQ10 is what I've heard. No, it's, it's really the other way. Uh, they, they say that CoQ10 is good. Uh, if, that, that's the thing that's in fish oil or whatever, isn't it? No, it's um, some sort of... Mine's orange, and uh, you, uh, it's supposed to be good for your heart. Gee, I should bring out my medicine cabinet here, and we could say do a game called Name That Pill. Yeah. I thought she just went to bed. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're going to be in trouble now. <laughs> this is Friday show. She doesn't I listen to tell on you on Sunday. What? <laughs> I can tell on him on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Jeff's a rat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're having lunch with Jeff and uh, Pamela on. Um, Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, since all you guys in California can get together, can't we get together? Yeah. Why don't you guys show up once in a while? Let's yeah. let let <laughs> let's fly. Uh, well, I'll, I'll I'll wave from Maui. Let's fly. <laughs> let's fly Josh and uh, Jason in to Josh is close. He's in Ohio, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's close. Yeah. The, the I think the temperature uh, on Sunday is going to be 87 in Kihei, Maui. So uh, I'll wave. Yeah, well, so what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. We thought about we thought about visiting New York a few times in the last couple of trips we took. We just haven't made it. Oh well, come see us. Walking around with a map, you know, looking all touristy, <laughs> seeing if we can get mugged or something like that. You know, if you came to New York and, somebody expect, knock them off the and expected me to teach to show you New York, I would have to get one of those maps. Yeah, yeah I heard uh, your mayor is sending the homeless to New Jersey. Really? I thought, yeah. Well, you know, back to where they came from. Yeah, really. Exactly. No, very good. He's sending him to New Jersey and North Carolina, and the uh, I think the governors of each state is protesting that De Blasio is is doing that. Because How's he sending a, them down there? I guess he's putting them on By a Greyhound. train or a bus or something. Uh, really? Does he force these people on the bus? Uh, Beats me. Maybe promises him candy. Why don't you get the know. story first and then come back to us? I and heard report. the story. Uh, all right, I'll look up the story. Uh, De Blasio sending homeless to New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. and you know I what you're going to get. You know what you know what you're going to come up with. Why his wall paint is b gurgling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alex, did you, did you hear that the guy who's the head cop of New York City retired? Did he? Yeah. Jimmy O'Neill. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. You know, oh, I was going to say, what's his name from Blue Bloods? Um, no, this, this guy's an old Magnum friend. Magnum P.I. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, well, did you find the story yet, Mr. Biggie? Uh, I'm looking. Mr. Uh, Mr. Okay, here's. Uh, Mr. I have nothing I, to I want to see what it's from. Uh, what uh, This is uh, news at Yahoo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio caught sending homeless to New Jersey. Content is currently unavailable. Uh, Surprise! <laughs> okay, let's see if I can find anything else. Uh, well, uh, if, if that's the case, uh, quite frankly, I think it's a horrible thing to do to uh, 
uh, to the homeless. So send them yeah, to New, New Jersey. Yeah, New Jersey's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Swaller sued over programs. Uh, I don't know why the con- – uh, here's another one. Spectrum News. I don't know what that is. Uh, another New Jersey city is suing New York City over a homeless relocation program. Let me uh, tap on that and see what that's all about. Uh, okay, so New York's getting sued. Uh, they're sending them out to Elizabeth, New Jersey. Uh, the mayor, Chris Bowage, said, I am not sure that this is a quality in any way, shape, or form. I guess Elizabeth, New Jersey is not an equal to New York. Um, uh, okay, also uh, Newark has joined the lawsuit. And um, the uh, Democratic Newark mayor, Baraka, sued the city earlier this week, claiming the program known as Special One-Time Assistance, or SOTA, <laughs> uh, puts a burden on his community. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's the well, deal. Why would you send somebody to to New Jersey when, in fact, he can then turn well, around and come back to New York? Well, they're pikers, you know. What do you mean? The, turn, the turnpikes in New Jersey. Right? Yeah, so what? Well, they, they call guys along the turnpike pikers. What does that have to do with this? Well, it's it's a slur. Oh. But uh, you know why? You said why would they send him to New Jersey? I you know I. I mean, what I what, guess what, what what is being satisfied by sending them to New Jersey? I mean, if you said you put you drug them and then drop them off in Iowa, well, that might might uh, have some effect. But well, maybe it's dropping them off in New the Jersey, they just turn around and come back. Well, uh, he's dropping them off in New Jersey. You know what can I tell you? Uh, I, I used to know some police officers that uh, in one city, I will na- leave it non-named, uh, used to put the uh, uh, derelicts on the BART train and send them to Berkeley. <laughs> but, uh, you know, yeah, it was easier than arresting them. Mm. You didn't have to write a report. <laughs> oh, well, that's interesting. Boy, you always yeah. try to come up with something about our New York mayors, don't you? Yeah, I don't like your New York mayor. Uh, you don't but, like any uh, of our New York mayors. Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't like them. Uh, the last New York mayor I liked was Lindsay. <laughs> I thought you liked Giuliani. I, I like Giuliani too. Oh but, yeah, uh, he was a great mayor. <laughs> yeah, the best. <laughs> He's America's like mayor. The biggest everything. Dude, I saw a commercial on TV today. I don't know if it was just for FX doing a show or something, but it, it almost seemed like it was a Donald Trump throwing uh, Giuliani under the bus because it was talking about, was this Giuliani trying to dig up dirt on Biden? Oh, And it, that's all it was about, Giuliani digging up dirt on Biden. Did you hear that the main phone number uh, that was supposed to come back to some office uh, that uh, – uh, Ty Giuliani uh, to uh, to the um, uh, Ukraine thing. Uh, it turns out that the phone number was a bad phone number, and it doesn't come back to the office that they thought it was going to come back to, and it blew a bunch of holes in uh, uh, Schiff's uh, efforts to get the uh, phone calls from AT and T. Yeah, yeah, you know that there's uh, apps that you can get on your computer that you can call nine one one and spoof somebody else's phone number. Really? Uh, <laughs> I know, I, I get spoofed all the time with uh, people trying to sell me something, or uh, you know, their spoof numbers, especially uh, when they're they, calling to sell you Medicare. They've uh, had them where the cops show up and surround the house, thinking there's a hostage situation that we've had here in uh, Gross Point. Uh, the cops surrounded a house like there was a hostage situation and somebody on the internet spoofed his phone number and called 911 saying they're being held hostage. Well, is that called swatting? Uh, I, something like that, I think. And gamers but, do that to each other, right? So it, it wouldn't be that hard or difficult for somebody to have used a phone number and grabbed that phone number and it doesn't trace back to where they think it's going to trace back to you. So. Wow. Uh, this uh, Mayor Baraka said that the, uh, they put over 1,000 homeless in Newark. And uh, so okay. now he's suing New York. Well, it's very cruel to poor people. Isn't that the same thing Giuliani did too, though? 
Uh, I yeah, don't know. I, I thought so. he arrested him. <laughs> you know. I thought he put my buses to Florida. Yeah. Well, they didn't vote for him. That was his problem. Otherwise, you would have had Giuliani instead of Trump. I uh, wonder why they haven't come out with a documentary on how crooked Giuliani is. You know? I don't I don't know that he's crooked. Hey, uh-huh. He donates money to... I know that he's crooked. A lot of times I, I, they those, make documentaries yeah. after the fact, so he would have to stop being crooked for at least a short <laughs> amount of time for them to produce one. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, because it, 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 you know, I mean, I have it on good authority, <clears throat> somebody very close to Giuliani, that I, I said to them, is Giuliani a crook? And she says, are you kidding me? The biggest crook around. Uh, did they, uh, your friend, uh, did she cite any um, uh, specifics? Yes, but I'm not going to talk about them. Yeah. She said they were, she and her 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 pal, uh, his pal, uh, the mm-hmm. uh, former cop, what was his name? Uh, 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 yeah, security his, company his partner. Guy? Yeah. Uh, uh, Carrick? Uh, Bernard yeah, Carrick. Carrick. That the two of them were like thick as thieves. They were just yeah. terrible, just terrible. And they this didn't and, liked each other. And oh, this person really should know because she was sleeping with Carrick. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, I said to her, I said, I like you a lot. I think you're a very intelligent person. Why in the world did you fuck Bernard Carrick? <laughs> Power fucker. He's not a bad looking and guy. And that's exactly the answer she gave, though, uh, Josh. Um, uh, uh, she, uh, uh, she um, not Josh, but uh, uh, Jason. Uh, Jason. Um, she said, "I somehow am attracted to men with power." A lot yeah. of women are. Yeah. yeah, because I mean, he was a big fat fuck at the time. You know, he lost. Uh, you weight. know, I've seen him on TV. Yeah, he must have lost weight. He didn't look bad. You know, but the two of them were just absolutely thick as thieves as criminals. I mean, it's doing just outlandish shit, you know. So That was funny. The other day I was watching something on the History Channel. I think it had something to do with 9-11. It, it had something like to do with late. history, yeah. Something to, it wasn't like totally about 9-11 or whatever, but it was uh, Donald Trump and Giuliani were both on the uh, same episode in the History Channel. Yeah, that had to have been somewhat recent too, but it was like, you know, it seemed like he was taking credit for so much shit that he had nothing to do with. Who? Trump. Oh, Trump. <laughs> but then Giuliani well, also. Trump, you know, Trump is a pathological liar. I mean, he just, we, we know because we hear him say thing one something one day and the next day say, I never said that. I, I'm, I'm staying up late for this. <laughs> 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 oh well. Make the truly Don't do us any things. fucking favors, you know. Yeah. I got to be out the door at five thirty tomorrow morning. Yeah. Mm. Well, so by the time this is over, it'll be nine o'clock, so you can sleep yeah, until till four in the morning, and then you're yeah. out the door. You get get yeah. seven hours sleep. What are you? What are you? What are you griping about, old man? And it's a short <laughs> old man. in Hawaii. Uh-huh. Three hours? Yeah, but uh, I'm going to be on a plane. Uh, and because I'm uh, hungry for air miles and elite status, uh, I'm flying. Oh, yeah, you're flying through, flying through Ontario. Ontario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm flying through oh. Phoenix. And uh, yeah. Well, you could. When I went to San Fran, Alex, we went to Fisherman's Wharf. We were brother and we saw the cruise ships. We were just talking to people, and the guy came off. He says, this is a show. I didn't realize it. He says, we're going to Hawaii, because they knew we were from New York. I said, how far is Hawaii? The guy says, it's only a couple of hours. I didn't realize we were that close. My brother says, yeah, it's not far. Where's this? Where they, were people you? People stop off for the weekend. Wait a minute. Where, and then were, they take where were you? Where were when you? Me and my, my brother took me to San Fran to see the Mets a couple of years oh, ago. Yeah. Remember when I called you? It's not three we hours. It's not three hours. How many hours is it, Phil? Was it three? Uh, direct five and a half. Oh, it's five and a half? Okay. Direct. But that's not that far. I, I thought it was like really long. And uh, it's a little shorter and, uh, coming back. And most of the flights to Hawaii are uh, nonstop direct. and direct because really, Your where are you going to stop in the middle? <laughs> yeah, you got water underneath you, right? Yeah. 
So you better hope you're not stopping in the middle. It's not too Amelia yeah, Earhart <laughs> tried to have a layover. It didn't work out too good for her. No, it did, really didn't. She wants no. to go scuba dive, but not with the plane going in. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you go Jump to back. scuba dive. Maui. That's the big island. Uh, no, it's not well, the no, oh. the Big Island is uh, where oh. uh, Maui's where all the is. tourists go, right? Uh, are you going to see the ship Oahu and Maui? Oahu are yeah, uh, two right. big tourists, and Kauai. You know, there's a lot of islands in Maui, but not many of them are uh, populated. Too bad if Renee wasn't calling in. You could have told her you were going out there. It's a different island. Oh, okay. She lives on um, the Big Island, uh, Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, did she uh, move to Europe for a while? No, I don't. I don't know what happened to her. Did you ever get a response from she her? Did she say she was in the Czech no. Republic? What? I thought she said she was in the Czech Republic. Uh, I saw something on Facebook. She's not uh, on what? Facebook any longer. Uh, no, Jeff had some conversation with her on Facebook a while back, and I saw the thread. Wait a minute, R Renee Collins. I thought you looked her up and sent her a card. Uh, I have. I looked her up, but I haven't sent the card. And well, what uh, the hell are you waiting for, man? I didn't write down the thing. I got to pay a buck again to go on that search program to, <laughs> to, uh, to get the address. Well, yeah. let me see here, Renee Collins. No. Yeah, Je Jeff talked to her. It was a while ago. I thought she was in the Czech Republic or in Prague. Oh, well, she has family in uh, um, Syria, doesn't she? Yeah. I thought she'd talk one time about maybe going somewhere so then she could fly her family out of Syria. Uh, and they didn't want to go. The last time, yeah. the last time anybody posted on her page was Jeff Stein. Right. Who wrote, uh, I miss you on GabNet. And that said, great that you are around. Are you now out of Hawaii? I'm in Prague, Czech Republic. It uh, is it to say to come home now? Is it say what, what? What was that about, Jeff? I don't remember very much about it. I don't Wait, think it was that this, long like ago. Maybe six months. Ago? No, it was like six months ago or something. Yeah, October fourth. The other one was May fifth. And thinking about you uh, and knowing much about you, Miss Marty, and blah, blah, blah. That was from December 2018. To hell with pictures, is Renee okay? That was me. And oh. that was in May yeah, of, of May. last year. Uh, yeah, so, well, that was the thread that I saw. Yeah. And, and it mentioned something about Prague, and that's... No, that, uh, well, that was something Jeff wrote. Oh, Jeff yeah. was in Prague. Okay. Well, I went to Prague. Yeah. I misunderstood. I thought. See, yeah, I know. Last when she was calling in, she was just getting her house remodeled, getting floors retiled, and everything. So yeah. it seemed like she was ready to move. Yeah. I think that's why we should maybe try to reach out to the other guy from Hawaii and see if uh, we he, haven't heard from him either in right? the same amount. Maybe of time. Hawaii has actually been blown up, and they're just not telling us. Hey, Patrick. Let me see. Uh, Hold on a second, Patrick. There's Darth Pat. Hello, Patrick. How are you? I am. Uh, Super duper. Oh, you're super duper? Okay. Yeah. Maybe he knows. Hi, uh, okay. Uh, you don't know what happened to Renee, do you? No. Um, in fact, I was in contact with her probably about a year and a half ago, and then that was it. She and dropped off the face of the planet. Right. Mm -hmm. How about James Lee? Does anybody yeah. know? Oh, uh, yeah, he was the other guy. He's the guy that, the, that lives on the island. Yeah, and we other... haven't heard from him either. Yeah. Maybe the island sank. Nah, that's what I'm saying. They're just hiding <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We miss Renee. She always used to call you from the old show. Yeah, yeah. So we have no idea where Renee is. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully everything's all right. All right. Good night. She's sleeping again. Is that your mother? Is that your mother? Yeah, mama. She had to get up, to take a pee. She's got to tell me. Wait a minute. Why don't you tell her to pop her head in so we can see her? Jeff, Didn't Tony? pop her head in so we can see her, Tony. Yeah, had a good day. That's going to pop her head in okay. so we can see her. Oh, God, she's small, yeah. Alex. I, I'm going to let you have the illusion to see her. I'd have to pick her up. <laughs> Hold on, let me help her get out of the bathroom. Pick yeah. her up from the bottom of the stairs. Isn't that a good son? He's good to his mother because he's paid to be. Oh, 
One, two, three. That's his heart. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. Wouldn't it be funny if she sounded like the like the woman in Psycho? Oh, or the Big Bang Theory. Uh, yeah, yeah, the friend's mother. Alright. Yeah, well. And we have to look at that hideous wallpaper. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Good night, Mom. Have a nice night. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, like, yeah. Anyway, there's a there's a few of them. Well, take She's a minute to figure family. out which one it is. And you know what I said at the end of the show? They fired the black guy. <laughs> just, I like Steve Harvey. <laughs> Don't get attached. <laughs> what, what do you mean? What? They fired she Steve the Harvey. Game show. They show reruns. Oh, I yeah. think they can Steve Harvey. I don't know why. Um, family he Feud? Yeah. What's he going to do? He's only got seven other jobs left. He has so much <laughs> from all the treasures in like He's a national treasure. Al. He is funny. He's a national treasure? It's a hurry, is it? Oh, 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 God. Damn. Yeah, I could never understand his appeal. You know? It's the mustache. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh uh, I so, guess he had a tough time as a kid. He stuttered and uh, overcame did? it. And, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyway. Why is my phone so goddamn slow? What do you mean? Why? You didn't pay your bill? No. What are you trying to do with your phone? <laughs> I'm trying to look up that thing on uh, Renee's, uh, you know, because my other stuff is all packed away. Yeah. Because you true. still have the old unlimited plan. No, no, I, I got rid of that. I went to Verizon and I just took their deal. Oh, see, that's why. Are you taking a computer with you? I'm taking a uh, iPad with me. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right. And, iPads uh, serve the. I mean, pretty soon people are not going to be using portables anymore. They're just going to be using iPads. Things yeah. like that. I, uh, I got a, um, a, a fob, you know, a flash drive that is both a lightning and a USB. You flip it around. And uh, we'll see how that works. I, I was going to download movies to it, but uh, uh, when I found that I could just do it from Netflix, I said, oh, I'll do this. And this way I know something. How do you do it from something. Netflix? So you have to have uh, a, a Wi Fi connection? A connection I'm not to. Sure. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure you do. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure not sure. I, no, it, for the stuff said you download. I downloaded. Yeah. If you downloaded, you downloaded it. All right. but I just what, don't know if you can open up. No, Netflix but, but let's say let's fun. say you download it and then you stop subscribing to Netflix. Does it stop allowing you to watch it? Yes, because you do it through the app. I see. Oh, I see. Okay, so you're going to the app to watch your download. Yes. Okay, so really you're not downloading it. You've just kind of put a place no, marker you're, on it. You're downloading it. It's just you have to go into the app to access it. No, but to get to 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 use the app, you have to have internet service. You can't watch it independently of the app. Am I right? You could Definitely. still open the app without the internet. Oh, okay. I, I didn't believe. know that. I didn't mm. know that. Well, that's that's good. You know, there's probably certain parts of it that are saying you know there's no internet, but you could still access this part or something. But yeah, I don't. I swear, I think I've done it before. And yeah. You know, I use it without using my data or whatever, but. So, new. what's new with your life, Patrick? Um, I'm going to have cataract surgery in two weeks. Really? Holy shit, you're young, man. Really? Your your Cadillac is in trouble? It has a, Jeez. oh. oh right. Uh, <laughs> I've had cataract surgery. It's, it is so simple. It is oh, so, yeah. you know, it's 15 minutes, you're in, you're out. They put a, a cup over your eye for the first night, and then you go to the doctor, and he takes the cup off, and he takes a look at your eye, says, bless you, lets you keep using the drops for a week, and that's it. But at your age, though, is that that's not normal, is it? What? It's not normal. It, the doctor was telling me um, people in our age group, younger, it's not the same as... Um, Older people where the whole eye gets cloudy, it you right in the center of the pupil. Yeah. So like I, nobody could tell that I have a cataract except me because it gets blurry 
if I looked ahead, mm -hmm. but I had peripheral vision, and he said that's normal if you're younger, that's the type you get. So. But they still do the same thing. Oh, yeah. They and replace the thing, lens. They plug the, uh, the vacuum cleaner hose in your eyeball, they suck out the old uh, lens, and then they shoot the new one through, so... Did you make sure you cleaned your glasses before it wasn't a spot on your lenses? <laughs> you might actually find that your uh, you use gl your glasses are prescription lenses, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Did you look into actually having corrected lenses put in so then you wouldn't need glasses anymore? No, because that is not covered by insurance, and I'm not willing to pay more money to get rid of my stigmatism. But the cataract part might be, and then when they're doing that, you know, so some of the costs might be covered. You know, it, I, the doctor and I talked about it. Okay. And to correct it, it, would, it wouldn't be covered by insurance. So. And it costs like $12,000. Well, and I said, I've been wearing glasses since I was 10, so what do I get? You know, right. 40, I've been wearing them for 30 years, so who gives a shit? Yeah. So, you know. Right, right. Uh, let me see here. Oh, look, uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Got somebody else coming in here. Got somebody Renee? else coming in here. Yeah, we got, uh, we got, uh, let's see here. Uh, Kevin coming in. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to add him here. Come on, Kevin. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Let me see. Let me uh, get Kevin. Da -da 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 -da. Where is he? He's Hog Rider. There we go. Okay. Kevin, are you there? There he is. Okay, and yeah. Kevin has joined us. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Except, you know what's funny about colds? I got to tell you this. I was feeling pretty good today. And as the night approaches, it gets worse at night. Why is that? Anybody know? You're, You're laying, laying down. The mucus tight? builds up. I'm not He's laying not down, down, though. No. You shoot the bricks out, your nose, and you think. It wants you to take drugs. You know, the Vicks, the Vicks rub is good if you feel like maybe it opened the nasal passage. No, my nasal passages are fine, but it's just like I'm blowing my nose more, which is I'm about, oh, I've got okay. blood coming out of this nose. It doesn't have time to clot up, you know. Oh, you still haven't tried the Mucinex, have you? Uh, no. Gee, I'm telling you, that is Awesome. I don't take anything else besides the music. I thought you said it didn't work. You have to get from the pharmacy counter. But I thought you said it didn't work. This time it did not work because it was so bad. But I can't imagine how it would have been if I didn't take it. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I'll try the Musa next tonight. It, it, it's 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 awesome. I don't take anything else. I go to the pharmacy counter, ask for the Musa You have to sign and show your license and. It's it's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, but if you wanted a gun, they'd have been like, sure, here you go. <laughs> Here's three. Yeah. Just want to make sure you're not making meth. <laughs> uh, let me get it. Snapple. That'll, that'll be mm. good. So anyway. What's happening in the, what's happening in the news that I should know about? Anything? Okay, well that ends that discussion. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's pretty much the news is kind of just getting boring because it's the same old thing every day. Uh, some Saudi guy shot up the. Hey, they said that was the second Florida. one this week. I don't remember hearing about the first one. Uh, the one, uh, first Pearl Harbor. one, yeah, was Pearl Harbor. Okay, I do remember hearing something about Pearl Harbor. No, that was what the was Japanese was... bill. Yeah, and they don't know why. Uh, Pearl Harbor's in Oahu, different island. Was that an uh, American or was that another foreigner? They don't know. That was an uh, American, I don't know. American in, in uh, Pearl Harbor, hmm. but yeah. it was a foreigner down in Florida. Yeah. It was a Saudi Air Force trainee down in Pearl Harbor, uh, Florida. And uh, Trump called the king, and the king said he's sorry he did it, but he but doesn't then, know anything about it. And 
that guy's been here yeah. for like two years too, though, hasn't he? I thought I heard something like yeah. he's been here yeah. for two you know, years. He was here training. being trained by yeah, the Air Force. So, so, so it, it might not be anything about terrorism. It's just the freaking mental health, and people need be, to be yeah. checked out a hell of a lot more for their mental health before they buy a fucking gun. Well, you see, here's what we do. If, if it's anybody from that part of the world, we immediately suspect terrorists. Call a terrorist. Right, yeah. right. Not in that part of the world. You're brown. You're a terrorist. Yeah. You know, uh, as far as mental health goes, uh, the Supreme Court's going to look at the, the whether people can sleep on the sidewalk uh, and, and reside on the sidewalk. Why? The and Supreme Court so has nothing saying, better to do? If it's a ment- Pardon me? Because the Supreme Court has nothing better to do? Well, no, I guess uh, there were some lower court rulings that said that they could. But uh, they're looking at it to see, you know, the, how it infringes on the people that own the sidewalk, you know, uh, you know, or private sidewalks. And they're, they're saying, well, you know, there's a homeless problem. I wasn't there's aware a, there was such a mental thing as health a, problem. I, I wasn't aware and, there was such and a there's thing. a drug problem. No, but I wasn't and, aware there was such a thing as a private sidewalk. Well, yeah. No, well, uh, look what they're doing here in San blocks. Francisco, uh, Phil. You heard about what they're doing in San Francisco. They're having big old boulders dropped on the street so that nobody can put pitch their tents. Well, yeah, and, and then they're they having the uh, logs dropped so right. that they can't park their RVs. Yeah, <laughs> big long yeah, logs dropped. Speaking on the street of, of so dropping a log, you should have seen the one I did just before the show started. <laughs> yeah, I was just I was just gonna mention that. Yeah, you want to talk about it? <laughs> what that? did you have a live cam and you saw it? I did. I missed that. <laughs> was it a clogger? <laughs> Do you know something? I've had clog- stick out of the I've water. I've had cloggers later lately. I don't understand this. Can you explain this to me? I don't eat a lot. And what I do eat is basically carbo non car you know non carbs right, which Meat. basically do not yeah do not create a lot of feces. I've been giving out with these huge huge boulders <laughs> lately, and I'm yeah, wondering well, where's all that stuff? Gap, where's man. it all coming from? Thanksgiving. <laughs> Everything you took in, you're gonna shit That's out. What you did? No, it you wasn't forgot. even the Thanksgiving. I just ate turkey. How much mm. shit is that going to produce? You know? Did you have some potatoes or something? Josh, like that? you in, participate in this discussion, goddammit. <laughs> uh, maybe it's shit. just like you're cleaning out your colon or something. I don't know. I Making don't up know. lost time. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. eat spinach. I yeah. clean you out. What? You want to clean yourself out, eat spinach. Really? Yeah, spinach will go right through you. Really? Yeah. And then, of course, there's corn. Oh, corn! You, the way it goes in, the way it comes out, usually, right, Alex? Yeah, because it doesn't the body doesn't digest it. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's I guess it's good for cleansing the colon or something, but it, you know. But what I don't get is uh, mm. I haven't had corn in a year, and I'm still having corn in my oh. feces. I, I don't get that. Where does it come from? Oh my God! Well, the corn never long breaks way. down. Who knows what happened? It took the long intestine, not the short one. Oh, I see. It took the long one. <laughs> you know, this Ancestry.com is insidious. insidious. It, it, it's the only thing that comes up. Um, I found it before, and now I can't find it. Well, wait, well, wait a minute. I, I, I told you last night about what's happening with me. Well, oh yeah, that you got a uh, a bad ancestry. You've got a brother and a sister. I've got a brother uh, and a sister. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And you're not the oldest one anymore. Well, you, no, He's but I, mean, I can't. I can't figure this one out at all. Hold on a second. I, now, where did I put the latest one? Did it come back? I I found it, and then I made it. Uh, I thought I. Let's see here. Is this it? Uh, <laughs> well, here we go. Uh, no, Ralph Marino. Father, Alexander Schwarzman. <gasps> really? 1908 one. to 1966. That's my father. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then it says, oh, it says resident Staten Island. Lives huh. in Staten Island? I don't know. But anyway, I'd like to know who this uh, Ralph Marino is. And then he has a sister who's five years younger than he is, born in 1926. Huh. 
So I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, makes no sense to me at all. Alexander Schwarzman, uh, birth of daughter. Here we go. 1926. Uh, Juanita Marino. Resident San Francisco, Merrill, head head. Then uh, Ralph, uh, birth of son Ralph Martino Marino in uh, 1931. Doesn't sound very Jewish. Yeah, and then it says 1940, time, 1940, birth of Bennett, son Bennett Schwarzman. Huh. So well, they I, messed that up because it was 39, right? Well, 1940. Um, I was born in December 18th, 1939, which is almost 1940. Yeah. Okay, so uh, they got that right, actually. Um, it says about 1940. Oh, I see. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. But I want to know, wh why does it list that I have a brother and a sister when I never had, I don't, I, my father never talked about it, my mother never talked about it. Well, was it the right parent names? Uh, sorry, it, I just came It seems back. to indicate that Alexander Schwarzman, my father, was the uh, father of, uh, of, uh, of these two other kids. Then it says Ruth Schwarzman, my mother, mm. uh, uh, had two, 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 three children, Juanita Marino, Ralph Marino, and uh, Bennett Schwarzman. That sounds and I don't understand how the Marino connects to, uh, to, to your father and your mother. Yeah, Marino I, I, sounds very similar to Magno. There may be, some, Magno. There may be something at... Maybe there was something <laughs> I have at... Mean to uh, at, uh, I think you and Tony are related. Now you were related, that'd be great. And Tony's Tony, really your, Tony, your Tony, son. If we were related, that would, not, that would not that would not be great. Taker. No, it would not I be mean, great. Adopted. In fact, if we were related, I'd probably kill myself. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'd have to <laughs> hide all the shop objects. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so have you tried to contact this Marino? Uh, is, are they alive? I have no idea where they are, who they are, or why they are. It could be. Sometimes that, you can send a message to. It, well, it could. Be. Alex, how do they spell Marino? M A R I N O. Yeah. And that New York. a football player, Dan Marino, Hall of Famer. And, and, <laughs> and these 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 siblings are in New York. You said, right? Yeah. Here's I looked up Juanita Marino. Her death of her father, Alexander Schwarzman, in 1966. Right. Wow. Uh, 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 All right. What did you look up? Her mother's name. Her mother's Washington. name. Her mother is uh, Ruth Bennett. Uh, is is uh, Ruth uh, Ruth Schwarzman, supposedly. I don't know. I don't get this. But how did? Where? How is there a connection between Marino and Schwarzman if they have the same biological parents? You know, both your dad and your mom. For adoption. Yeah. He wasn't planned either. I have your no your idea. mom's maiden name wasn't Marino. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, right? if my father had a, had a, had two kids by somebody else. He was a little devil, yeah. Uh, you know, but I mean, I don't, I don't think he was ever married to anybody else. My mother never said that, never alluded to that. My father never said that. Yeah, you know. So, well, maybe you've see, got a big family now. No, maybe I don't have any family at all. This could be that somebody put those names in on my thing or to something. make you feel good. To make yeah. me feel good, exactly. Yeah, it feels real great. I have a brother and sister now, yeah. But anyway, I have no idea. I still think you should say fuck them and leave everything to me in the will. Uh, it, it, which will? <laughs> you know. uh, but that's that's the... Uh, there's Ruth Schwarzman. It says birth of daughter. Ruth Schwarzman, birth of daughter, Juanita or Marino. Can't be. Doesn't sound right. No. Sounds like they've tagged something that doesn't belong. Yeah, something got tagged somewhere, and uh, I have no idea what it is or what it isn't. Here's a, here's another interesting thing. My my lawyer was supposed to come over to the apartment tomorrow to take a look at it just so he'd have a general idea of what it was like before the trial, and he can't make it, which I'm glad for because I figure every moment that he's here would be costing me money. Yeah, oh, they're absolutely. Trying to. <laughs> so... <clears throat> And after spending nearly nine hundred dollars today, yeah. you know, oh boy, the bill for this trial is going to be extraordinary. Cheaper yeah, than rent it could be twenty grand. 
Cheaper than yeah. rent. You're absolutely correct. It's cheaper than rent. So, anyway, no, I'm starting to feel puny finally. I wasn't feeling that bad all day, but now I'm kind of getting there. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, let's see here. Uh, talk politics? Nah. What, what well, it's going to get interesting soon because once it hits the new year, that's going to be the election then, the election year, the countdown. Yeah, it's going to be ridiculously bad, you know? It's going to be a bad year. Uh, I, I, think, um, I think Trump is in trouble. Uh, Not if he's running against Joe Biden. Well. And, that, and they're saying that that's really who's going to end up uh, in the hot seat. Well, I don't, I don't know. They're investigating their son. That has nothing to do with Joe Biden, though. What do you mean? It yeah. has nothing. What has nothing to do with Joe Biden? The, Joe Biden's son. I mean, yeah. that was his actions. It wasn't Joe Biden's. Oh, actions. how nice they of you! They can't tie that to him, other than the fact that the guy was there, and the people from Burisma felt that it would be a good idea to have a Biden on their uh, payroll. Yeah. But uh, that doesn't necessarily make Joe Biden uh, a crook. Right. So you're saying oh, they have other minute, wait, 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 hold on a second. Are you no. actually saying something nice about Joe Biden? Uh, no, I'm just being truthful, you know, that, uh, you know, the, the, you can't blame somebody for the actions of their uh, Yeah, but child. don't you feel that Trump, through his insinuation— Well, insinuation, why they're bringing Biden in with that is the only reason why his son— <clears throat> and I do believe the only reason why his son got the job is because who his dad was. I, and that's he admitted correct. it, too. But that happens every fucking that, day in that life. That doesn't mean that Joe Biden did anything. No. You know, I— you know, just because you have a kid that, you know, takes a deal, uh, you know, and he's trading on his name, that doesn't necessarily mean Joe Biden called up the guy at Burisma and said, hey, you know, my kid should be on that board. So get then how would he end up on the hot seat? That's right. Mm -hmm. Look at the whole Trump family. Where did well, you come out with 83000 a month, Phil? That's what they said he was getting no, paid they from said, Burisma. they said fifty. He said uh, they said 50, then they said 83, and then they said they're splitting it between two guys. And it was 100 and something, 160 or something, 165. Uh, there, there's been a number of things, but it doesn't matter whether it was 50 or 83 well, or it was, 100. It was or bad $50. judgment. It was bad judgment on, on Biden's son's part. But, yeah. but then again, did he do anything wrong? Maybe, probably not. No, I don't think he did anything wrong. It's just uh, it was bad judgment. It, it's uh, so then why you know, was Trump never trying, knew well, that why was Trump was trying run. to well, then why was Trump trying to get the goods on him? Because uh, probably Trump was trying to uh, defile uh, Biden's character. Yes, for what reason? To get mm -hmm. elected. So and now is that right for a president to ask a foreign government to do that for him? To no, he just asked the uh, comedian, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Now, he didn't ask the government to the do it. The comedian said, do me a favor. the president of... Hey, the, the, you know, uh, <clears throat> asking him to investigate, uh, what would you call it, corruption, and uh, they it's they got to prove that there was they were holding the money up for them. And, I mean, that's a very open thing. They can't prove it and they can't not prove it. You should go over there and hook up with Rudy Giuliani and help him out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He might actually it's help. It's too <laughs> cold there. I don't want to... I'd rather go scuba diving. Yeah. You could help him out. But, you know, if you if you look at this thing, I don't think, you know, you know I mean, it, it didn't show up very well and it was bad press, but, uh, you know, you can't prove that the guy did anything wrong. Yeah, but the How problem, did this money well, get held up for so long, and then they got more money than the Congress actually even delegated for them? Well, Trump's a generous guy. Alex was trying to say something. But... What, what, uh, the only question that I have is, don't you think, however, that whether, no matter what, by, no matter what Trump was trying to do or not do, by the fact that he tried to do it, then Sully's Biden's name, even if Biden didn't do it. You get what I'm saying? That's true. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, so therefore it, it makes him it makes him not a very good candidate. He no. he effectively uh neutralized Biden just by the inference. Yeah. Well, they they infer that uh Trump is everything from a child molester to uh 
you know, th there's nothing they haven't called Trump. You know, it's, uh, so, you know, I don't think. Well, how do you answer they, this they, one, Phil? They've only called them things Phil, that there's like somewhat of evidence. And I, I want a serious answer from you because I was thinking of this yesterday. Yeah. How do you th feel about the fact that Trump is basically morally bereft? In other words, You're all, he's a no, 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 no. Forget about that, Phil. He's not yeah. a politician to begin with. He's he was not. A he's an outsider. Man. He's an outsider. He's not a politician. He is now. And you said you voted for him because he wasn't a politician. Okay? Correct. All right. Right. Uh, but the fact is that <clears throat> this guy cheats on his wife. You know. Three wives. Three wives. Uh, believes he can grab women by the pussy. I mean. Three different baby and, mamas. And, you know. Uh, this is a guy who basically has no basic moral character. How do you defend that? How do you, def how do you family, defend that? Well, family values party. The guy could get away with it when uh, no. before he entered public life. Look, uh, have yeah. you been faithful to uh, no. all your wives? I and know there's been more than and you therefore are, I have been sinful and I have been right. wrong in doing that. Yes. Right. And so is Trump. Well, he's never apologized for it. I did. That's, that's I not did. Part of the deal. But that's not the that's not the end all be all. It's nice that you apologized. Louis C.K. Uh, apologized, and look but, what it got him. Alex also isn't running for the party that is the party of family values. And well, or preaches how bad that's, and how that's wrong your this is on every level. But Jason, that's your interpretation. That it's, it's not the my interpretation. The Republican values. Party I've always talked says about that they're the family. party of family values. Yeah, I thought that's... they were fiscal conservatives. They no, they but... tried to impeach a president because he got a blowjob in the Oval Office, Phil. That what's, was twenty what, what's, some odd years ago. Okay, what's a little bit more heavy value to American values? Getting a blowjob in the Oval Office or trying to withhold money from a, co a foreign uh, government because you're trying to dig up dirt well, on your political opponent? If you don't home. like this guy. Then in 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 November, uh, twenty, uh, you can vote him out. Three and million people already did vote for somebody no, else. No, those three him. million weren't American we're illegal, citizens. Weren't they they were Californians yeah. and New Yorkers. They're and, all illegal Native you know, Americans. Now, J uh, Josh could speak on this. That we're a republic, and uh, in uh, the Madison Papers, it talks about the. Uh, the um, the college, the uh, electoral college, and why you don't want just two states, regardless of its population, to control the election. Did he say because that, we're did a he republic. Say, did, did he say that, uh, Josh? Uh, I mean that that entire issue was cobbled together pretty late at the convention as you know a, a last ditch effort by the small states who felt like they weren't getting enough out of the new federal system that was making headway that it you know was going to get pushed through i mean they got a few things but they didn't feel like they got enough and the small state faction you know was able to win over one last concession and a compromise for the electoral college because they felt like you know you have to remember the new government was going to go into effect in the late 1780s. And in the late 1780s, the largest states were not largest in size. They were largest in population. And those states were Virginia, you know, and Massachusetts. Pennsylvania, and New York. To, a, to an extent, you know, Pennsylvania. And they felt like the most prominent men were all from those states. Everyone knew that Washington would be the first president. So there were people from the small states who looked around and said, you know, it's possible for the next half a century it's going to be a guy from Virginia or Massachusetts as president of the United States, and we're not even going to have a say in it. We're not happy about that. And the reason we're not happy about it is because we already <coughs> compromised over representation, where they felt like they got semi-hosed. And then they felt like the slave states came away with quite a few victories, which they did. So you had the small states, you know, making a last-ditch effort to say, you got to give me something. And then James Wilson of Pennsylvania came up with this idea, and, you know, they were able to accept it. I mean, it's not as relevant now as it was then. I, I mean, I know there are people who hate it and think it should go away, and I'm open to that argument. So, I are mean, you, there are, are you open to allowing just two or three states to control 
Uh, no, uh, not uh, really. I, I yeah. mean, I, I understand what you're saying there. I, I don't think that it would be right in some way. But uh, I, you I know, in today, at the same time, everyone in this country has a vote, and if if we don't vote by state, we vote by people. So if I mean, if you went to a popular vote, I guess what I'm saying is is you would do away with these number of, you know, electoral votes that they win per state, so it really wouldn't matter anymore anyway, so... But we have a representative structure, uh, and, and we have two uh, senators for each state, and right. so therefore that's how, you know, you know, I understand, you know, on the coastal areas, you're going to have a higher population than you have in the middle of the country, yeah. but they became states, and they got the full rights of what a state gets you know if they didn't want to if they didn't want to give these states those rights they would have kept them as territories but at the same time the the reason why they, they feel that they're not going to get the representation and why they need the representation is because the smaller states are actually a lot of times agricultural states and we need to represent the agricultural needs and I think that that would easily be a given the first time somebody tried not to represent the agricultural needs. When you see food prices skyrocket and the, a loaf of bread costs $20 and people are going to be like bullshit on that. And they were going to realize we need somebody who's actually going to represent the agricultural areas too. It doesn't necessarily need to be. We can educate ourselves very quickly now. Information passes very quickly now. If you get somebody who says, you know, fuck these states, you know, fuck Utah, fuck these, you know, places – it, it's not going to work out because the, they're going to tax, overtax them and not represent them right. And food prices will skyrocket and people are going to be like, I'm not putting up with that. And then realize that they're going to have to represent those areas. And you can go to a popular vote. Yeah. I mean, the college swung is, back and forth two, three di different ways. It's so. not. No, the you college can, is outdated in several ways. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about that. I mean, the other part of it too, is that it was pretty unheard of and, in 1787, for example, the idea that a citizen in Virginia would vote for someone from Massachusetts for president if there were someone from Virginia that was qualified was unheard of. I mean, yeah. they were very parochial. They were as parochial about their statehood as we are now about party. Tony, you know, Tony I mean, has his hand up. Maybe he has a question. You know, no. yeah, just say if they want to change the whole electoral college, just make every state be worth the same then. <sighs> That's what it is. No, it isn't. No, I mean, no it isn't. Phil. No, it's not. Because New no. York and California are worth more. You said it yourself. Just make every well, state worth, worth more worth, than them. They're worth more delegates, but they're not worth yeah. more senators. Uh, no, but know. they're worth more. What I'm just saying, instead of like, like New York and California are worth a lot. Just make them all worth the same every state. The point is that when we talk about the Electoral College, we're only talking about the presidential election. We're not talking about representation to Congress. We're not talking about anything else but president of the United States. And that should be judged on who gets the most votes. That's but the it. representation in Congress it has, is we're, based we're, on we're, local yeah, but Phil, representatives Phil, we're not talking. Sentenced. We're not talking about that. We're only talking about the election of the president. We're not talking about the election of senators and congressmen. I, I, I understand, and it has no effect to the Electoral College, but you don't need the Electoral College because those people are elected locally. And All so I'm saying, Phil, and I, I, I repeat again, the only elective office we're talking about here is president of the United right. States. And you want the president to represent all the states, and and this way well, they have Well, uh, do you think state. Donald Trump represents all the states? Absolutely, except uh, California and New York. Uh, yeah, yeah right, exactly. Well, I'm not representing the farmers. The, yeah. the most proper way— He's paying them a lot of money. With, the most proper yeah, way well, for the tariffs. Hold on a second, Josh. Yeah. The most proper way for the president to represent all the states would be by a, a popular vote. I mean, in one of the great ironies of the convention, the very man that created the Electoral College Compromise was actually not really for it. I mean, he came up with the idea that everyone would accept, but, but James Wilson was the most Democratic member of the convention by far. He wanted the president elected by popular vote because he believed in his words that the democracy in America should be built upon the widest possible base for the period, the pyramid of democracy. In other words, the more people who could vote for, for, for president, 
you know, the better. I mean, he was the most democratic of all delegates at the convention. I mean, it is one of the great ironies that he created the Electoral College compromise that, that we have because he wasn't really in favor of it. I mean, he was in favor of a popular vote, but it just wasn't going to happen at, at that time. I mean, it's just like we weren't going to form a union without accepting the fact that there was going to be slavery in the union. I mean, I, a lot of people look back now and say, you know, that was a failure of the convention, and it was, but it just, I'm just, there was, no confederation was going to happen without that acceptance. I mean, the slaves, the South was going to keep their slaves, or there were going to be two nations. I mean, you know, and proof of that is the fact that a hundred years later, there were two nations. I mean, you know, before they were reunified by a, a terrible war that killed 600,000 people. Yeah, we had so, many more states at that point. You know, there's only 13 colonies right? that uh, and, signed and without, on to you. Without concessions to the slaves uh, holding states in the South, there would have been 10, maybe 9. You know, because well, North Carolina... Was Georgia a state at the time of the uh, Confederate... Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, South Carolina and Georgia, along with North Carolina to some degree, were the most ardent, you know, uh, protectors of slavery and threatened on multiple occasions to, to leave the convention and refuse to confederate with the new nation. In other words, they said they would go at it themselves, basically. They would just create their own independent... Well, let, me, let me ask you this, though, Josh. What I was always led to believe... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, <coughs> Um, it's getting to be a late evening, and I'm this cold. And suddenly, everything's starting to come up. Anyway, what I was led to believe was that the original reason for the electoral college was as a matter of of counting of ballots too. How long it took to get to it took, how long it took to get to to Washington D.C. <laughs> and so, uh, what would happen yeah. is uh, they would have the because we have the elections in November. But we don't have the Electoral College until January. <clears throat> then the reason for that, I was led to believe, had to do with travel. Am I right about that, Josh? I think that it, there were considerations upon travel when it came to the election, but I don't think it was a, a, a large a factor as people would be led to believe. I mean, if they had decided that they wanted to elect the president on a popular vote, they could have done it. I mean, it, it, like I said, it was proposed and favored by several people to elect the president by a, a pure popular vote amongst those people who were eligible to vote, which, you know, is another story. But among yeah. the people that were eligible to vote, let's just, you know, do what we're talking about, a popular vote, you know. Yeah. This guy gets 100 and this guy gets 99. Well, you know, this guy wins. And of all the objections that came up to combat that that idea none of them really had anything to do with the fact that it would be too difficult to travel to the place where the conclave took place i mean it was it was mentioned and batted about but i don't but it, isn't that it, it the wasn't, isn't that, that wasn't what kept it from happening i mean it, you know <clears throat> today if you were to have an electoral college you could actually do it two or three days after the election i mean you've done five minutes five minutes yeah. right yeah <laughs> right. so i mean Right. Yeah, you know, I mean, who has a reason, system for that? Every reason why we have the Electoral College is kind of null and void, I think, by today's technology. Well, what Phil does is he says, well, the Constitution yeah. did this and Jefferson said that. But they said that back in a time that wasn't today. And we didn't have the communication we have today. We didn't have as many states as we have today. You know, they were dealing with a microcosm at the time. Well, the we document didn't have the weaponry works. we have today. No, the document the docu doesn't work, Phil. And, the document is a piece of it, shit that needs to be changed. And if you want to change it, it can be changed slowly, no, and it, it can be it, changed. It can be. It, 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 we need a new. I think we need a new constitutional convention. Well, that's most Democrats do. Hey, uh, you know, no, Alex, not most Democrats you, do, Phil. I'm one of the few Democrats who does feel that, Phil. See, well, and, if, and if, I disagree with him. I'm a Democrat who disagrees with him, Phil. So. <laughs> But you you don't want to change the Constitution? I don't think the Constitution needs to be changed. I think there are some amendments that need to be changed. I'm not open for what well, aren't isn't there so many states that are pushing for a constitutional uh, convention? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I think that it'd be especially 
the way that people are right now, it, it is so fucking scary to have send your kid to school and worry that your kid might be shot and killed and people are all okay with the gun rules that we have right now. I'm scared to have those people have any type of influence on the Constitutional Convention, even I'm with as bad as to, our gun laws are right now. I'd be now. scared to send your kid to school with all the garbage that the teachers are pumping down their throats. And, the, and well, what kind of garbage is that, Phil? What kind of garbage is that, Phil? What kind of garbage is that, Phil? I'll tell you, they're, they're training them to, uh, to be liberals. They're training them to, uh, oh, to, to, to not expel. You know, oh, uh, that there is no God. That there, you know, not that I'm good. Uh, hey, I hey don't Phil, Phil, so, Phil, are you really, going to say, say hell to Jesus? Yeah, 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 Phil. Phil, as a guy who really believes in God, I'm sure that concerns you. <laughs> no, I don't. But you know, people have a right to uh, to allow their beliefs, just as okay. much as the people have a right to not believe it. There's other people who have a right to believe it, and I'm not going to take that right away. From yeah, but them. I believe I it. I, I believe that you can believe anything you want to believe, but shut the fuck up, Phil. I am. They are not he, yeah, well, that's what I'm talking school. about. Wait a minute. What did you say, Kevin? They're not teaching that shit in school. No, I go not. to the classes. They don't teach that shit. That's all bunch of bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Godless society. Yeah, Jason. Well, they're not allowed. To, my sister's a teacher. They're not allowed to talk about any religion. No, they school. aren't. It's like just like At work. All, yeah. You can't go in. So you don't know what you're shit. talking about, Phil. So you want to take hey, that back? I, I know what I hear. You know what you, know? you hear. Yeah, yeah, you know what you hear on the. the no, what you hear. Yes, uh, Jason. <laughs> Jason. I, I was just gonna say, I, yeah. I am an atheist, and I teach my kid to be an atheist, but I also teach my child to respect other people's religious beliefs. It's so, not his place to tell them they are wrong, and I also teach him that it is not their place to tell him that he is wrong. Well, right. they're also telling people in school that it's okay for uh, Johnny and Bruce to get together. And, and it and, is. Oh, Phil, are they, it are is they teaching okay that in school, Phil? Are they teaching yeah, that think, in school? Yeah. Uh, uh, Kevin, are they teaching that in school? My teachers, my sister teaches second grade, so. No. I yeah, no. and you know, and, and you and have kids in school. It's okay right if now. you want to claim to be a German shepherd, you can you can be a German shepherd, and I have to recognize you uh, as a German shepherd. And it's okay shepherd. to be a. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I won't go there because that's. Phil, you're getting ridiculous <laughs> now. What's the matter? You're getting absurd. Uh, I, I'm telling you that it's okay to be a white European and claim some property over in the Middle East. <laughs> Works yeah, actually, me. actually, Phil, they walk them in the door, they shut all the windows, and they start teaching them all that shit, and they lock them in. Yeah, they brainwash and then, them. And then when it's all, after another hour, they take them down the hall to another room, they lock them all up, they close all the windows, and they teach them all that shit. And they come out with bright eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> come on. Well, I mean... A new convention today would would wouldn't last five minutes. It, Jeff I mean, wants it, to say it, 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 a new convention today would never see the light of day. I mean, it would be so unproductive it'd be ridiculous. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, first would, of all, the, never end. The first convention was done totally in secret. Okay, I mean, nothing leaked out to the press. <laughs> Not period. Like Schiff. I mean, you know, and, and and letters and diary entries from the period have made it very hard. Because the, the delegates did truly, for the most part, stick to, you know, the secrecy rule. Uh, that that would never last, right. you know, Je that would last 15 seconds today. Jeff had his hand up. Yeah. Jeff? Well, I was going to just talk about, what we're talking about uh, people who are not uh, men versus women and, and who want to change their life. This happens today, Phil. Get used to it. There's kids who are in high school who, who are boys and they want to be girls instead. And there's people who are girls that want to be boys. You know, t tough shit. It's not the teachers who are teaching them. It's the, and you know what? It's the kids and, and their families, because I know people who have this issue, and the, and the family is going like, wow, my kid is, is weird. And somehow I still love this kid, and I got to make it be a smart kid and a, a healthy kid and, and, a, and a good kid. I How got come the same a generation thing. ago or two generations ago, you didn't have these autistic uh, kids that, you yes, know. Yes, you had you autistic kids. You absolutely, out, Phil, you, Phil you, you don't know what you're talking about. If you acted out, you got to Phil, Phil, 
You they don't know were, what you're talking are. about. There were autistic children. We just they didn't just recognize them. They were not diagnosed. Yeah, and and did the school let them act out and and let them get away? We with, punished uh, them. We punished them for their behavior, <laughs> in spite of the fact that they had no control over it. Phil, correct. And if they had the bucks, they would get the kid uh, educated on a one-on-one -on -one basis or yep. a special basis. Yeah. Otherwise, they got stuck in some class in the corner. Well, otherwise, of the we didn't realize these things existed. We do now. And it's helped a lot of kids. You know, yep. I, I don't know if it's just an excuse that uh, for, for letting the behavior uh, exist. The world has changed, and besides that, even though the world really didn't change, our education allows us to understand it. And, and, and Phil, it was, it was an excuse to do only one thing, and that was to have compassion for kids who were not good at learning or having uh, uh, those kind of antisocial behaviors because of their autism. And I think that that's a very good thing that we found that out. And a lot of kids' lives and their futures are being saved by this knowledge and our ability to deal with it. And you don't think that it's caused by uh, sugar and uh, no. these cereals no. that they keep pumping no. in the kids? No, and, no, uh, and, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. You know, everything that happened before that. Is... Phil, I grew up on sugar. I, you know, I Real look sugar. what happened and to you. It, I ate, it happens uh, before that as well. <clears throat> yeah, I turned yeah. out okay. No, I think, you know, you know I what it was, autistic. Autistic. you said, a lot of things went undetected probably when we were kids. Like my sister said the same thing. They just didn't have a definition for it probably at the time. Look at anorexia. They never knew that when Karen Carpenter got sick, right? Yeah. I right. was reading her biography. They didn't know what, what she had until they came up with a term for her illness. Yeah, I mean, they just, you know, kids who were... Uh, uh, dyslexic, we'll get to you in a second there, Jason. Uh, uh, we just called slow. <coughs> and that that was that was uh, that just kind of swept it under the carpet. Yes, Jason. So I know all the Flint water crisis and stuff has made the news like yeah. over and over again. Has it made the news recently about a uh, seawall collapsing in Detroit that might have had possible uranium? Uh, you hear that? Was and that, the, yeah, that walk? The, the, that new walk where they've got all those shops in Detroit? No, I don't think it was. It was more of just an industrial complex, oh. but <clears throat> it was luckily it's south of where the intake is, where we take in our water, but it's not south of where other people south of there take in their water. So a seawall collapsed that had some uranium in it, so the water might be uh, polluted now. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's you know, it's kind of... Uh... You know, all, all I'm saying, Phil, is that we, 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 as years go on, science catches up with things and we begin to realize stuff that we didn't realize. And uh, in that area, we've realized a lot that we didn't realize years ago, you know, and, uh, and good for that because Jeff kids is, are being, uh, kids' lives are being saved. Yes, Jeff. There's certain things that we haven't figured out yet and, and, and we may not understand it. And, and your idea, like, uh, well, the kids have too much sugar and the wrong kind of food. I, you know, I know so many people who have gone through the world on trying to come with the best possible food, education, training, and this and that. And there's still Austin kids that are problems. And you don't think things like our obesity problems uh, in today's generation and last generation, that this obesity is caused by the food that, that we're yes. eating and the illness, the diabetes, and all of these other issues that take place because well, I, of I obesity appreciate your efforts food. in that. I appreciate, your, I, I appreciate your efforts in that field, Phil, to try and stem that. Uh, I'm, but I'm a model citizen. Yeah, you're a model <laughs> citizen. I mean, come on, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, one of the Americans, by and, by and large, and I mean large, have been a much fatter race of people than any other on the face of the earth. But, you know, I always noticed when I came from Europe, the minute I got off the plane, how incredibly fat everybody was. I'm home. <laughs> yeah, I'm home. <laughs> home of the free, home of the I'm fat. Sure why, Where's the Cinnabon? I used to cry to go to McDonald's. My mother's like, you can't go every week. Yeah, yeah. Because you just wanted those French fries and Big Mac. Oh, well, you know, I mean, and we had to supersize everything. We had to get it bigger and bigger. You know, I mean, we we, we, we have a lot of large size people. 
Don't keep putting that on your eye. Get a warm compress. I know I have a compress, but it's in the other room, okay? Right. You don't have to tell me that. All right, well, you know. You know. I'm, and the only reason I'm doing that is to just, it's, it's tearing a little bit, and I'm just stopping it. But I, I, I've been putting, uh, I put this gel on it, actually. Yeah. Uh, that's very good. It's a, it's yeah, a tear duct. Cream. It's an eye cream. Clogged. Yeah, well, don't, don't, don't worry, Phil. I've got this all taken care of. I, I know what I'm doing with my body. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think that, uh, you know, that, that you know, I, it's like, uh, what's her name? Who's that, who's that cunt who was talking about autism and that it was coming from, uh, uh, oh, what was all the stuff she was spouting out? Oh, the actress? Yeah. The vaccines? Yeah, vaccines. Oh, the yeah. kids were just acting up. And so, so because of her, that bitch, that <laughs> cunt, that, that she works for Sirius, by the way, um, she, uh, she managed to start a, uh, a measles uh, epidemic in this country. Because of her anti-vaccine deal, oh, and you don't think the measles epidemic is coming from illegal aliens coming over the border spreading yeah, disease? So no, these Jewish people in these Jewish communities. Well, those those measles. up in Rock and Rockland County, those uh, the, the biggest but, measles you know, they outbreaks don't have wanna, been in Jewish communities. Phil, these are not Mexicans these, coming these, over the border. These people are 17th century uh, people that don't associate with anyone else. If you drive through their neighborhood on a Saturday, they stone you. And that's really? where all the outbreaks are. Orange at. County. Rockland County, I mean. Boy, you live in a world we don't live in, Phil. <laughs> Spring Valley. You walk, you go <laughs> through Spring Valley, New York. <laughs> By the way, Patrick has been terribly quiet tonight, and I think it's because he's all too. looking upon us. Fort Apache. <laughs> it's because uh, Patrick's looking at us as a bunch of troglodytes here. So, <laughs> are, are you frozen? Pat? No. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I was just, just wondering no. if you were frozen. But he's looking <laughs> up, and I think his TV is up. Yes, Jason. So I have to ask before the show's over. I was on Damien's show tonight. I'm on your show right now. Yeah. I'm going to go on uh, Jack's show afterwards if I'm You got still nothing to do? You're doing here. the triumvirate, huh? Yes, I am. The wife am must be, be out of to town. Anyway, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, she's here. Am uh, I going to be the first to do it? What? i would be on all three shows. Uh, I'll tonight, put in most yeah. hours I on would say. I would say. I would say. Yeah. You, you should get a star for that. Yeah. Well, you, in the you, Gabnet I Walk get like of a Fame. Thousand Gabnet bucks. No, no. In the Gabnet Walk of Fame, they'll here, put a star. Here, uh, let's. For you. Uh, 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 here's a thousand Gabnet bucks. Okay. Jason? Oh, man, my wallet just got heavy. Yeah. Well, spend yeah. them all in one place. Uh, you can uh, you can, uh, t uh, you can can turn them in wherever they're redeemable. Spend them in the Gabnet <laughs> store. Right. Uh, the cabinet store, yeah. Um, um, I'll show you around when I get a chance here. We have uh, the Alex Bennett, zero, zero, Alex zero, Bennett zero, glasses. Uh, these uh, here. Before this thing is over, I wish you very, very good luck next week uh, on your uh, uh, court case. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll and, have to wait uh, and see. You shall <laughs> prevail. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll prevail. Just a matter of I just want it over with. Damn it. I'm well, you're nearing the you're nearing the the end of it. Yeah, I guess so. You know, I I, I it's been a long hard slog, longer than it should have been for us. Oh yeah, because we did nothing wrong, you know. But hopefully, some people will have to pay for their evil doings, you know. Anyway, hey, listen, great seeing y'all. I see the end of the show. I'm a, I'm a mess uh, physically here. Hopefully, this cold will completely go away by the next time I see you. If it doesn't, just meet me at the cemetery, okay? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Jeff. You'll be uh, the grave with no Phil, headstone. Have a good time in Maui. Uh, thank you. Uh, Josh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Jason. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Patrick. And thank you, Kevin. I got them all. Hey, why and don't you Jeff, guys... Don't let them get you sick. Yeah. By, by the way, everybody, uh, give a big wave goodbye. And I will wave back at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. There's our citizen panel. Good citizen panel. Good. Nice to have them around. Uh, um, uh, Jack Bishop is next with the uh, intersection. And a couple of people have threatened to call that show, so why don't you do the same? Meanwhile, I will not be here Tuesday and I will not be here Wednesday because I've got the big trial happening and it starts so early in the morning that you know I can't so 
Anyway, so I'm just saying to you, uh, I'll see you probably next Thursday night uh, for another edition of The Ramble. But just stay tuned to all the other shows when I'm not on. In the meantime, uh, have a nice night, everybody. And as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>